Howdy howdy and hello everybody and welcome back to another Creation Corner here at the Creative Plots of the Emerald Isles. I am Husky Tails, your favorite green of fluffball inside this amazing gingerbread house I made. Um, if you guys remember, this week's theme was indeed gingerbread and we have, I believe, six entries from you amazing puppy pals. So without further ado, guys, I'm just going to show you mine really quick. Got some frosting, even got some frosting falling into the roof a little bit. I got a chimney and everything, but this is not about mine. We are going to show you your guys' creations. I feel like I just broke something, but I probably did or didn't. Is this snowing or is it just me? I feel like it's snowing. I don't know. I don't know if it's me or if it's... I don't know. I, I, it's nice, though. Um, so we're going to come in here, guys. Our first entry is by... We're going to come over here. Our first entry is by... Our first entry, guys, is by Eleven Chapa, who colored these two cool gingerbread house uh, pictures. Um, I swear, I was actually saying this on Twitter, I swear I've seen this before somewhere. I don't know if I've had, like, a similar book. I don't know, but I love the coloring job, and I love seeing all, like, little key, uh, different colors used for the gingerbread house. Um, if you guys just color pictures, too, don't ever feel like that's not a talent, because I think coloring is an amazing talent and should always be recognized. Um, so thank you, that was yours. That was yours, Eleven Chapa. Um, I believe the next one, guys, which El Chapa is hiding, is by... Uh, it is by Ceciline. Uh, Ceciline or Celine. Um, I keep forgetting how to pronounce it. Uh, hopefully I said it right. Um, looks like Ceciline. But, uh, it is this cute little drawing of gingerbread dreams. It looks like there's, like, falling out of the sky and everything. I definitely liked it, and I definitely wish gingerbread would rain from the sky. <laughs> um, that actually sounds really good. Uh, but yeah, thank you for submitting that, Cecilyne. I really hope I sent your name right. Um, but I appreciate the drawing, and I hope you guys submit some next time as well. Um, Alright, so thank you again for that one. Um, if you guys don't know, by the way, I'm still feeling a little sick. I, I was just recorded uh, Sunday, Subs Day, and so I'm still feeling a little sick. But that's okay, guys. Because I like hanging out with all of you guys. Look at all you crazy guys here. Um, but the next one, guys, is by... I believe the next one is by Sarah Schaffner or somebody gaming who made this amazing gingerbread house. Like look at all the gumdrops and candy canes and little details. Like you have become an amazing Minecraft drawing person or builder person drawing on my I guess you could draw on Minecraft. But I definitely loved your little entry and I loved the the, the little details you had as I stumble over my own words. But definitely, uh, you know, thank you again so much for that. I love seeing the gingerbread houses and I can't wait to see what you have for next week. Um, alright guys, that was Sarah's. Um, the next one is actually yours, Timbers. It is yours. And it is, it is, it is, this amazing candy cane topia. Uh, I don't know what texture pack you use, but I said gingerbread. You made a gingerbread house with a yard and a candy pebbles and so much detail into it. I was in love with how much there was to it. And there's like actually like several pictures they submitted so you guys can see all of like what's in the inside and the outside. You guys can see Timber on top with their little flag. It was absolutely amazing. So thank you so much Timber. <clears throat> uh, that was yours Timber. That was yours. Um, Alright guys. The next one is by... I believe the next one. Oh, there it is. Sorry. The next one, guys, is by Yellow Hornet 911. Um, they made this like it looks like a gingerbread, but it looks like a cookie. So it's like a gingerbread cookie house. Um, I think that's really cool, actually. Uh, you guys can see the inside and the outside how they made it really fast. Um, I definitely liked it too. Like it's like a giant cookie that you can just like eat, but then if you eat it, you have no place to live. So don't eat your own house. Um, again, I like the texture pack you used as well. I'd like to know what it is. Um, it looks familiar though. I think I might actually know. I'm not sure. But as you guys can see, they have like a little sign as well. So thank you so much for that, Yellow Hornet. I appreciate the entry, and I always hope to see what you guys have for next week. And all right, guys, as Choppa has the last one hidden, the last one is by... All right, now this was a last-minute one. It was by uh, Linny the Panda, Panda, I believe. They submitted these, like, cookies. Um, sorry, I'm trying to look at it right now because it's, like, last minute. Um, they submitted, like, these cookies that they made and stuff. It looks super, super tasty. It looks super good to munch on. Um... I see they made like a Santa and a snowman. It looks like a gingerbread too. I can't tell what's in it. It's like, it's, it's like the plate. But I definitely liked it and I definitely liked seeing uh, the cookies that like were baked in the real life. So thank you so much for that one, Linny. I hope that was you at least. Um, but yes, it was a last minute entry. But guys, as you guys can see, we have had... Did I break that? Oh no, it's, I thought she would break, I broke the wall. As you guys can see, we have had amazing entries for gingerbread, and I am oh, just over like blown away by the like the amount of creativity you guys all have. 
Um, sorry I keep like like stuttering on my tongue and stuff. Oh, hello, invisible person. Like I said, I'm still kind of like feeling a little sick. I need to go take some medicine and lay down here soon. So, you know, for everyone hanging out with me, thanks for coming out and hanging out with me. You guys are always amazing. Um, I'm going to try to get it better as quick as I can because I have a lot of stuff to do. But what you guys have to do is get ready for next week's theme, which is... Oh, let me just get the sign here. Oh, that's a grass block. Eh, I can't get the sign. There it is. All right. Next week's theme, guys, and it's a big one, is all about... Christmas! Um, I was like kind of typing as I paused there, it's right there. It is all about Christmas, and it can be like this, like normal Christmas. You guys can have, of course, a tree, which is coming along nicely. You guys can have elves, or presents, or Santa, or any of that kind of stuff. And for those that don't celebrate Christmas, if you guys are like, you know, uh, Hanukkah or any of those, you guys can also do that too. I'll accept those. Um, so I guess I should put holidays the theme. Let me go change that really quick, actually. Um, next week's theme is not Christmas, it'll be holiday. There you go. That's for those that don't celebrate Christmas, because I want to be fair to everyone. Um, I celebrate Christmas, but if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's okay too. Just like draw something that's about your holiday. So thank you guys for joining me here today. I had super fun hanging out with all of you guys. Um, we're going to get ready for a few other projects here in the next coming weeks, so be sure to get those Christmas entries in, and be sure to have an awesome Christmas yourself, or Hanukkah, or whatever you guys celebrate. Um, so again, make sure to have an awesome day, guys. Make sure you yourself stay awesome. And be sure to tune in for next time. Bye!